In the last video lecture we saw how VDJ recombination occurs in light chain locus. Let's now understand how VDJ recombination occurs in the heavy chain locus. Let's say this is our immunoglobulin heavy chain locus in the germline DNA. These are V gene segments. Again, each V gene segment is preceded by a leader sequence. Next, to this cluster of V gene segments, D gene segments are present, followed by J gene segments. These are nine C genes, each of which correspond to different class and subclass of immunoglobulins. For our illustration, we will take the CMU gene, which encodes the constant region of IgM heavy chain. This C exon is further made up of six subexons. Four subexons code for the four constant domains of the mu heavy chain. And the other two small exons code for the C terminal ends of the membrane bound form of the heavy chain. In case of heavy chain locus, it is the V, D, and J gene segments that encode the complete variable domain of heavy chain polypeptide. VDJ recombination in heavy chain locus involves two gene rearrangement events. First is DJ joining, and second is DJ V joining. Let's understand this in detail. This is heavy chain locus. We are only showing the CMU gene. As we know, mu heavy chain has four constant domains. So we are representing CMU gene in the form of its four subexons. In the first step, a randomly selected D gene segment is joined to a J gene segment. This is the first gene rearrangement event. Let's say, second D gene segment is joined to the third J gene segment. As a result of this gene rearrangement, we get DJ joined rearranged DNA. In the second step, Next gene rearrangement event takes place. A randomly selected V gene segment along with its leader sequence is joined to the rearranged DJ segment. Let's say, first V gene segment is joined to the DJ gene segment. With this gene rearrangement event we get VDJ joined rearranged DNA. And thus, we have a complete V region exon which is formed by randomly selected V, D, and J gene segment. In the third step, transcription occurs and primary transcript RNA or pre-mRNA is produced. RNA is single-stranded, so it is represented by single line. So, we have a pre-mRNA. Having a V region exon, C region exon, and intervening non coding sequences or introns. In the fourth step, RNA splicing occurs. Introns are removed, and V region exon is joined to the C region exon. This generates the mRNA with complete variable region and constant region exons. In the final step, translation occurs, and mRNA is decoded into the heavy chain polypeptide. Thus, exon formed by the randomly selected V, D, and J gene segment forms the V region of the heavy chain. And these are the four constant domains of mu heavy chain. So, now we understand that VDJ recombination in heavy chain locus involves two gene rearrangement events. This assembles a complete variable region exon from randomly selected gene segments each from V, D and J gene segments. In the next video lecture, we will find out how VDJ recombination is guided. Thank you.